about networking. Yeah. Nicola, I always give my guests an opportunity to ask me a networking question okay. or something about myself. Yeah. So I'm quite anxious of you <laughs> to learn what your question is because I know my you haven't question. told me yet. No, so, no. Yeah. My question is, um, there's so many networking groups and things out there. And um, one of the things my clients ask me is, well, where do you start? Which one do you choose? How do you find out about them and how do you choose which ones to go to? Because sometimes it's expensive. You yes. Know, going along to see sure. Them. Okay. So there's three questions there. Sorry. Which Did event you? should we go to? <laughs> they can be expensive. And where can you find them? Yeah. How do okay. You find out about so, them? the very very first thing is you have to know who your clients are and who your target audience is, because I say networking is similar to dating. Yes. We all kind of have a type, or <laughs> we know who we're sort of attracted to. Yeah. So that's business. You need to know who your client, who are buying my services, and why. For me, it's referrers that I want to meet rather than clients. That's actually. absolutely yeah. fine. Then you need to figure out why you're going networking, and that's fine. Whatever the goal is, mm. figure it out. If you want to get referral partners, if you need to expand, or you're looking for new business. So then, great, you know what the audience is like. So when you're attending networking events, what you need to do is you need to look at the location, mm -hmm. you need to look at the cost, and you need to look at the time of day. Those three measures are going to give you a good direction. Will my audience be likely to attend that type of meeting or that type of meeting? Mm -hmm. The biggest rule of thumb is also the time of day. And I tell this to majority of my clients. And breakfast meetings or any event that's normally held before the hours of nine o'clock, you will find more, say, high-profile networkers. Mm -hmm. Because I also say it takes a type of professional person to wake up five o'clock in the morning <laughs> to go to a networking <laughs> event, if you yeah. think about it. So that's a good rule of thumb. The other rule of thumb is whether the event has a speaker or not a speaker. So if you go to events that have speakers, that's probably going to be good for your referral um, expansion because delegates attending an event with a speaker, they're going to learn something, business development, so you're going to be like for like. Then the second measure is costs. If you're trying to find a referral partner where you um, do have a higher B2B, high profile client, um, you're going to find that if the event has a higher cost, you're going to have a higher quality of people. Mm -hmm. If there's no cost and it's free, that may not be your target audience. So those three measures really, really can give you that direction. Oh, cool, that's really helpful. Yeah, so Thank I hope you. that's helped. Yes, yeah? that's fantastic, oh, Bella. Thank brilliant. you. So guys, thank you so much for watching the Bella Networking Facebook Live show. And we have had a brilliant digital marketing expert, Nicola, and her website will be added to the bio. Guys, if you've liked the show, please drop a comment or hit the blue likes.